this uh, little bonus video in uh, Old World here. Not really bonus, but um, the game does not explicitly say that you have uh, 80 turns, but you only have 80 turns. Well, really, like, kind of like 79 is turn 80 is when they trigger the uh, everything else. So, you know, things happened here. And that is... Yeah. They just have so many reinforcements. But, you know. And then, there we go. Struck down. You know. Yes. And our bodyguard kills us. And there we go. And that's kind of the end here, because we didn't get um, everything there. What I did kind of like, at least in the Carthage scenario, with your goals, it said how many goals you had. So you kind of keep an idea, told you how many turns, so it was there. And they also did a how much, you know, different levels of kind of goals. So knowing that, you know, you've got so many turns you need to plan, essentially, eventually you get the goal to take the cities over here. So you have to take those. You have to take out the tribe up here, the tribes up here. So you'll do that. These out here, I don't know if these were worthwhile. They were a fun empire expansion, but probably took too much of my time and effort. So you don't have to, I, I think, essentially take out these. So you ignore those. You have to come down through here, so you get those. This comes for free. So essentially early on, instead of switching back that way, I guess you just focus, push out this way, come back, take um, these tribes right here. Well, you may have to do it a little sooner. Um, if you want to get enough wood, because th this wood can sustain you. That's enough wood. You don't need to get these. I never really developed these, even though I came all the way out here for kind of the forests. So instead, this becomes your forest, Lumber Mill City, um, and then you push that way. So if I think I would try it again, I'd try that way, and then obviously build more of a road for reinforcements, because you will need to be just streaming in reinforcements, especially because their cities have both moats and walls. Now, I think this city here, like, if you have a military, if you build up this city, you can have this city move that way. Then if you have a peace agreement here and you're not having tribal raids here from this side, and you've got everything else over here, you can then, you know, really just push south. Um... And then you don't have to necessarily get so good with Athens. You can get good with Sparta. Maybe get Sparta to declare war on Athens and start moving on Corinth. And that will distract them. And you'll have to deal with, you know, a third less or a half less of the forces. So I might try this again um, there. Because this is still an interesting scenario. Uh, but again foresight and the knowledge of how many turns and you know how many goals again makes it um a lot more interesting and that's sometimes some of the fun of this game is that you know you try one strategy and then you have to come back and do a different one but anyway i wanted to do this as a shorter video and not a full session video so i'll probably release this one on a saturday so we'll get a rare saturday video um even though it'll be short um just because there's there's not a lot there. But I want to say thank you very much for joining me, and be seeing you.